Hello everybody and welcome to Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. This game has been out for quite some time, but I have invested a good amount of time into this game and I've ranked up to the rank of 35 and I've unlocked quite a bit of things, but the major thing that I was working for the whole time was to get level 6 of the recycling points so that way I could repair body panels because what I am trying to do, but I've been wanting to do, and what I think would be a really cool idea, is I want to do kind of a restoration garage sort of thing. And I didn't want to do it with a modded profile, and I didn't want to give myself a bunch of money or XP or anything, so I actually worked, completed a lot of jobs, grinded through, and then eventually got to the point where I could start flipping cars, restoring them, getting used to it, and now we here, now that we're, now we're here. <laughs> and now I'm ready to make a video and I hope you guys enjoy because we are going to go and try to find a car to restore. So currently I do have one in my garage that I've been wanting to restore in my parking garage but I'm not going to, we might have to do that but I figured let's go ahead and head to the junkyard first and see if we could find something at the junkyard that would be as interesting or maybe even more interesting than the car that I currently have in the parking lot ready to be restored. Because I think it'd be kind of cool if we find something for the first time. Because I don't know what's here. This is all random. If I find something here that's pretty cool, we can uh, try to restore it and see what how much money we can make out of restoring it. And how much we spent and all that stuff. So, this is pretty cool. We got like an old pickup truck. Old 50 Chevy's pickup truck. Go ahead and take a look at the... Uh, oop, nope. Take a look at the car. So, it is a Smith 1500 XL. Uh, the current value of the car is $9,700. And uh, up in the top, car, the, the car value... So the car price is $9,700, and the value of the car is $8,000. So it's a little bit of an investment, but it's pretty cool. I like it. It's pretty awesome. Let's see if there's anything else first before we just jump on that, because there could be something really cool in here. Or that's the best it's going to get. I don't really know. Let's just see. Sometimes you got to also check all the way back here. Sometimes there's some hidden cars that uh, are actually really cool. And you'll walk right by them and you won't even realize they're there. And then you realize, oh, no, I didn't buy that. No, that's pretty boring. You know, I do like this car, the Bolt <laughs> Revelit, but I just, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. It's just not what I'm wanting to modify today. I want to do some sort of classic. Oh, Crown Vic. Crown Vic. Crown Victoria. Ford Crown Victoria. What happened to it? Oh, my God. What happened? Look at those exhaust tips. That is, that is not legit at all. What happened to it? Oh, my God. That is, um, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well. I well, just I I own a Ford Crown Victoria, so I would definitely like to restore one. That would be really cool. The only issue that I have with doing this car is it is a modified car, and uh, sometimes modified cars have a little bit of issues from time to time when you try to restore them. Sometimes parts can be a little strange. This is so cool though. Okay, well you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna buy this car, and we'll put it in the garage. I don't know if that's the one we're going to restore, but I definitely just want it for the sake of needing it. And maybe one day, I don't know, maybe I'll do that car if you guys are interested. Oh, look at this thing. This is really cool. The Bolt Chapman F-Mill. This is cool. It's like an old Caprice. It's not bad. I like it. I like it. It's a, uh, what is it? A, yeah, it's a four-cylinder, I think. Yeah. 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 It's, oh, yeah. It's all right. We got, uh, oh, like a Chevelle. A Chevelle's pretty cool. Or a Bolt Hellcat. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think that's it. I think that's our options. There's really not much else. I'm really liking this truck, but I also don't mind these muscle cars. You know what? I bought the Crown Vic. I don't think we're going to do the Crown Vic. I'll keep that for later. And maybe one day I'll tackle the Vic. But, I don't know. This thing's pretty cool. This thing is pretty cool. It's got a V8 in it. 
That would be nice. I don't know. All right, you know what? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to leave the truck behind. We're leaving the truck behind. That's fine. Let's head back. We're going to head back to the garage. All right, so back at the garage, we're going to go to the parking lot. And we are going to check out what I have stored in parking. Because I do have a car that I've owned for a very long time. And I would like to get restored. And while we're here, we can actually look at some of the other cars that I've been working on. That I'm actually like building a collection of. And not just fixing and selling to earn some money. These are cars that I actually do enjoy. I'm going to warn you now, frame rate in the garage is always extremely strange. So I'm just going to do a little quick look around of all the cars that I've done. And you can see how I've done them. Which, uh, these have been a lot of fun to restore. You can, uh, add paints and all that. They look really cool. Got an old Willys Jeep. RX-7, which is really cool. This one's fully restored. This one is clearly not. This one's gonna get restored. So, but yeah. Check it out. RX-7. God, I really, I, oh, this is one of my dream cars right here. I would absolutely love an RX-7. But I'm not spending the money that people are asking for them. They are cool as hell, but not that cool. I do have an old pickup truck that I've been wanting to restore. So maybe we can do that someday too. I probably didn't even need to buy it. I kind of forgot about this one, if I can be honest. Uh, Shelby Cobra, of course. And then another Shelby Cobra, of course. And then another Shelby Cobra, of course. <laughs> uh, this one is the one I'm keeping. I'm going to sell this one. I'm going to restore and sell this one. They're, they're worth a good amount of money when you restore them. Because I think if I can look here, this car is worth... 66,000 um, and I definitely didn't put 66,000 into it so what I want to do is I want to restore this I want to restore this classic Mustang it's technically called a Salem Spectre Fastback but uh, this thing was one of the first cars I ever bought from a barn find or a junkyard or somewhere I can't remember where I got it but it is in some terrible shape so I think this is the car that we're going to restore today. Because I've been wanting to restore this. I've been waiting to record it. And uh, we're going to do this one. We're going to move it to the garage. And then we're going to head back to the garage. Alright. We're back in the garage. We got the fastback here. We got the Vic over there on the other lift. Let's go ahead and get this one up on stands. Because that's what we're going to be working on. We're going to... We, we, we might do this one one day. I would love to restore this. This thing is just messed up. I don't even know how that's possible. That it's this messed up. And you can even tell looking at the gauges. It's uh, it's a 2005 and up. So it's a 6 through an 11. Uh, I don't know how it got as messed up as it did. This is just absurd. Half the engine's missing. It's real bad. Real, real bad. So, I don't know. Maybe one day. Maybe one day we'll do that. But as of right now, we're going to start focusing on restoring this car. So, what I typically end up doing to begin with, is I pull the motor. There's not much of a motor here, uh, but we're going to go ahead and pull it anyway. So first things first, let's get the transmission off this thing. We'll put it on the stand there, and uh, we'll have to spend a little bit of money rebuilding uh, a lot of these pieces, because a, th a lot of pieces are missing. So before I do that, I'm actually going to get a notepad here, and we're going to go over some uh, things that are price- we're going to go over some numbers here, so that way I can keep track of just how much we're spending. So currently, we have 409985 dollars. The car value currently is $7,968. So we're going to see how much we spend restoring this car. We're going to see how much the car value jumps, and we're going to see if this was actually worth doing. So, let's go ahead and just quickly, while we're here, let's just remove the wheels. Let's just get these done out of the way, because uh, we're not going to need these until pretty much the car's done at that point. I mean, if you're putting wheels back on, it's ready to go back on the ground, which means all suspension and everything else has been done. So, yeah, the wheels can come off. We'll have to take the, the the rubber off the rim, so that way we can try to restore the wheels. All right, so take the drive shaft out. Oop, Jesus. Come on, camera. Be nice. Take the drive shaft out. 
we'll pull the transmission down. We'll lower the car back and we'll put the uh, engine hoist on it and pull the motor. Put it up on the stand and uh, we can work on it there. Okay. So, let's go ahead and move this over to our lift A. And let's pull the motor. Pull it out. And go ahead and return that piece of equipment. And let's put the motor on the stand. There we go. So, as you can tell, we're missing pistons. We're missing we're missing everything. We got the crankshaft. We got the flywheel clutch. That's a bad... This is just a block. We have really... We're not... This is not... Hmm. We're going to be spending a good amount of money here getting this thing restored. Because it has nothing on it. Okay. Well, let's start tearing this thing down, I guess. We're gonna. I'm just going to start pulling off body panels. It's going to be the first thing. Let's just get all that out of the way. It has no fenders, hood. Pull the headlights if it has it. Doesn't have one on that side. Doesn't have one on this side. We'll do windshield. We're just going to strip this thing down completely as much as we can. No door on that side. Pull the tail light. No rear bumper. Nothing. Absolutely nothing in here. We got steering wheel and stuff. We'll deal with... Actually go into here. Let's pull this out. There we go. And just pull that out. We'll just get rid of everything that we don't need. All right. So. Now that we're done with that. Let's go ahead and just start stripping the engine bay of anything else. Radiator. Battery. And the brake servo. And I think... I think we're done with that so at this point we could just raise it back up and we're ripping all the suspension out everything in the suspension is getting ripped out every piece of this car is getting removed and then once we do that we there are some things that you cannot restore obviously you know brake pads brake like these rotors no we're not putting those rotors on bearings uh like these the tie rods tie rods can't be repaired um some of the, uh, like this, the, the sway bar and link and stuff like that. Like that stuff is just, it's gone. It's gone. We got to buy new ones. So that's not that big of a deal. A lot of this other big pieces of metal that we currently have can easily be restored and reused, which will save us a little bit of money. Um, so we shouldn't have to buy too many parts. The one thing we're going to have to really spend a good amount of money on is the engine. We're really going to have to go through the engine and just absolutely rebuild that thing from scratch. But I'm thinking, because I really do like this car and I want to keep it in my collection, I might actually go performance parts. Since we're already having to rebuild the, the engine, why rebuild it stock? Let's put some performance parts in it, maybe earn a little bit more money for the car. I'm not going to sell this car. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I will. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how much it, it's worth after we're done doing what we're doing to it. But I'd rather not. So we can uh, we can just see what kind of value we could get out of it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens at the end. But I think regardless, it's going to put more value in the car if I work on doing performance parts in the motor and really get this thing to have a lot of power. Just remove the rest of the exhaust system here and we'll take out the... Uh, the cross member up front here and then we'll be done with the front then we just got to pull the rear end real quick and then after that we're going to have to make a list <laughs> a list of parts of everything that we need go ahead and pull the gas tank down real quick let's get this side done and yeah so there's definitely definitely some things that we're gonna have to buy but luckily it seems like the suspension everything is here so we can restore a good amount of this stuff and not have to spend money on getting some new ones. So that is nice. I'm a little disappointed how torn out the engine is. Like I really, it's just a block at this point. I did not realize it was just a block. So that's, that, that, uh, it, it'll be all right. It'll be fine. We'll deal with it. No worries. Part of restoring cars. This is stuff that I really wish I can do in real life. I just don't have the time or the money or patience or knowledge to do this stuff. And that's what I love about this game is I can get all those needs of wanting to work and restore a car out of my system. And uh, it only costs me the price of this game. <laughs> so 
it's a win-win, I guess. Sure, it's not as detailed and you're not dealing with it and it's not cool and then after the fact you don't actually get the car and it's still a game and it's very dumbed down, but it gets that itch out, which is really nice. All right. I think, honestly, let's just do a uh, quick overview of the car. That's it. There's no other pieces. This thing is completely stripped. Completely stripped out. Nothing on it, which is perfect. Just how I like to do it. So, let's go ahead and uh, get the welder over there. And this is this is one of my favorite parts right here. This super rusty body. It's just it's a terrible shape. Clearly not good to start putting nice clean new parts on. We are going to. Uh, this is this is the best part. Use equipment. Spend a thousand bucks and bam. Look at that. That is a nice color. Look at that color. Oh, we didn't take the trunk off. There you go. <laughs> we did forget a piece. That is really nice. That is a nice color. Wow. I don't think I'm going to paint this car. Well, you know what? I'll have to repaint it because the body panels won't be painted that we're putting on because it was missing so many. But, man, that is a nice color. I like that a lot. And before I forget as well, one thing we're also going to do is move the interior cleaning kit. So that way we can clean the interior because I'm pretty sure if you look in here, all the gauges and rings and everything are just... Like, the shifter is all rusted and nasty. So let's go ahead and just clean that interior real quick. I'll return the equipment, and then there you go. Look at that shifter. Look at those gauges. Much, much, much better. So the body's ready. The body is ready to start getting some new parts on it. So we're going to spend a little bit of time going through. the. As you can see, these are all the parts I just pulled off. Everything that I can restore. So these are all the pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fix all these real quick. And uh, we'll see what we're going to need after that. Okay. So all parts are done. Every piece that I can fix is fixed. So let's start working on putting the suspension back in here. And then as we go, we're going to need to stop and add more, buy more parts. Because there's going to be some things that I couldn't restore or broke during the process of attempting to rest restore them. Like these rear shock absorber bees? No, we can't uh, We can't use those. So we're going to have to buy some more of those. Which shouldn't... Oops. Which shouldn't be an issue. They're not too expensive. Two of those. So obviously, I'm going to be spending a good amount of money buying new pieces. But like I said, hopefully, I'm not going to spend too much. So that way, we can spend a good amount of money on the... Uh, on the the engine and doing uh, the performance modifications on the engine. So it looks like we're buying one side because the other side of this, yeah, drum wheels, those are things you cannot restore. But we need a rear axle uh, knuckle housing B wheel hub and solid rear drive axle. So that is fine, solid rear drive axle, the rear knuckle housing B. And then we need a wheel hub number four. Then while we're at it, let's go to brakes because we're going to need to buy two drum cylinders, two brake shoes. We're going to buy two ventilated disc rotors because these are for the front and two pads. There we go. That way we can go ahead and... Oh, you know what we actually need? Oh, I did have a set of brake shoes. We need brake drums. That's another thing I forgot. I forgot the drums. I did actually already have a set of uh, good brake shoes. So that's that's unfortunate. But it happens. Can't forget the leaf springs either. We'll do that in a second. Let's just get this side buttoned up real quick. And uh, we'll do the leaf springs. I'm going to have to buy new rubber bushings. Shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, this is something that I really enjoy. Like, I just, I personally have a passion for cars, like any type of car. I'm not particular on, you know, vehicles. I like everything. I like anything and everything. I'm not, I don't hate certain brands or certain types of vehicles. I like any, I can find the beauty in anything. So we're going to need rubber bushing. And is that also small? Yep. So we're going to need four small rubber bushings. 
and then we're also going to need, I believe, uh, two U-bolts. So we'll go ahead and just grab those now since those are for the other side because it didn't look like I had two more of them. But yeah, so I just, this, this game is just super enjoyable for me. Like, I don't have the experience to work on a real car. I mean, I could, I could modify my cars and fiddle with them and, you know, fix them if something's not too bad. But restoring a car is something I've never done. I've always wanted to do and I would love to do it. Maybe one day I can, but as of right now, I don't have the time or, nor the money or just, I just, I no, like I just cannot do that currently, so... Maybe one day, and that would be amazing, because I could, I would love to run a, I would love to have a channel uh, that you can uh, watch me restore something, which would be phenomenal. That would be really, really cool. All right, let's throw the fuel tank back up there, since we're pretty much done with the rear end. So here's where performance mods are going to start going in, because uh, we want the uh, tuning shop. And we're going to get this fuel pump, because this one is much, much, much better. There we go. Performance fuel pump in. We're not putting wheels back on back here. Not going to worry about the exhaust right now, because there's nothing to hang it to. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on the front. So I already know I'm going to need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 rubber bushings. Because... All those ones we took out of the front there are just not going to work. They're not going to go back in. So let's go ahead and buy 12 rubber bushings. And uh, I believe, yep, the front suspension cross member E broke out on me when I was trying to restore it, unfortunately. Which is all right. They're a little pricey, but not too bad. And then we are going to need to buy tie rods, inner and outer tie rods. And we will need to get uh, new shocks, too, because those you cannot restore. Let's see if we have a steering rack. Nope, we need a steering rack. We need also all the sway bars. Can't restore sway bars. Okay, so steering rack and front sway bar B. Front sway bar B. While we're here, we're going to buy sway bar front and link B, two of them, because we know we're going to need them in a minute. Uh, we're also going to need, um, I know I'm going to need front springs, front shock absorber caps. I'm just not sure if it's shock absorber A, B, or what it is. So we're not going to do that just yet. I don't want to buy the wrong part. Uh, what else are we going to need? We're going to need a steering rack. Go and buy that. That is the pricey purchase. Two inner tie rods, two outer tie rods. Okay. So. Let's try to just get what we have done in. Let's see. Front steering knuckle C. We're going to need a second one of those. Unfortunately, we're going to need two bottom suspension arms and one upper suspension arm. Okay. So, one upper suspension arm, two bottom suspension arms, and... Uh, the front steering knuckle C is what else we're going to need. Might as well just get it now. Front steering knuckle C. There we go. Okay. Oh, also, I almost forgot. We need wheel hub bearings. Two of them. And probably the wheel hub caps, but we'll do that in a second. So, rubber bushing, rubber bushing. There we go. Let's get that in there. We're also going to have to do the uh, suspension here in a second, but we'll try to button up both of these sides real quick. So we got that on. Let's do the inner tie rod real quick. Outer tie rod. And let's do the sway bar front end link. There we go. So we're going to leave that. Front axle cover. We're going to need one of those. Front wheel hub. We're good. Wheel hub bearing. Wheel hub cap, we're going to need two of those. The wheel hub cap, we're going to need the, uh, what is what was that thing called? It was this front axle knuckle cover. 
put an axle knuckle cover. We need that for the other side. Put the cap on there. Brake discs. Brake pads. Let's see if we're going to need any calipers. We are going to need a brake caliper cylinder. But we do have two brake calipers, which is good. So let me go ahead and just buy that brake caliper cylinder real quick. All right. So we are pretty much done with the suspension. We're getting there. We're going to button up this side real quick. And then I got to take the suspension apart, the old suspension apart, so I can learn what pieces I'm going to need for the new suspension to go in. And then we'll slap those in real quick. And then pretty much after that, uh, we're going to probably do wheels so we can put the car on the ground. And then we'll do body panels. And I always leave the engine for last. The engine is always the last thing that I throw into the car. So let's go ahead and just button up this side real quick. And uh, then we'll do the wheels, which we can restore the rims, but we're going to have to buy new tires, which is fine. I don't have an issue with that. We can actually pick the tires we want to put on the car too. So if this thing didn't have uh, riding on the, uh, the tires, then we can get some with it. I think it did though. I'm pretty sure it did. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do the suspension real quick. The, uh, what is this? It's a double wishbone, hey? Let's just go ahead and make sure. Separate parts. It is a double wishbone. Okay. So, that is no problem because that means we can go ahead and we can just buy two front springs, two shock absorber caps, and then double wishbone. Not rears. We want fronts. We'll slap these together real quick. And also, while that's going, I'm quickly going to run over to here and I'm going to separate these wheels or start the process of doing that. Because those need to come off as well. There we go. That's done. All right. So let's just go ahead and quickly throw these into the car. That way, suspension will be totally complete, front and rear. And then uh, we'll just have to work on engine bay, body paneling, uh, exhaust. Really, I mean, not much. It's really not much to finish this thing up. So I'm going to work on the wheels real quick. I'm just going to cut this part out because sitting here and spinning these can actually... Actually, you know what? Putting them back on is a lot more difficult, so this isn't that bad. But yeah, no, it's it's really not not too difficult. Like, I really do enjoy tearing these cars apart and rebuilding them. Because you saw how it was in the beginning. You saw how rusted and nasty. And now look at this suspension. Look at this under here. All clean, new, fresh parts. Like, it's just, ugh. So nice. Okay. So. Let's go ahead and repair. We're going to have to buy one of these wheels, unfortunately. So, let's just see what we're going to need here. Actually, two of them. One of them didn't get restored. That sucks. So, Retro Rim 11 and a 15. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and just buy these real quick. Retro Rim... Retro Rim 11. Where are you, Retro Rim 11? Oh, Retro Rim 11 and a 15 with a 0 ET. Two of them. Bam. Thank you. And then, what kind of tires we get in here? So we had the Vintage Tire B. It's a 215.65.15. 215.65.15. Okay. Wait. 215. Yeah. 215.65.15. I'm trying to remember that. So that way we can go and buy these Vintage Tires. So 15. 215. 65. And we need four of them. So 215, 65, 15, four of them, vintage tire, boom. Awesome. So, while I do the tires, uh, I think after I do that, I'm probably going to put her on the ground. And uh, we can move her over here and we can do the body paneling and stuff like that and get that stuff taken care of. Um... Because, yeah, that's something that we're going to need to uh, to get done. Because those body panels are going to be primer for the ones that I couldn't restore or didn't have. So the whole front half is going to be primer. 
So we're going to have to buy all those parts for that as well. Uh, as well as the front, the all the glass, the glasses in the car is going to need to be done. We're ha going to have to do the interior. There's no front seats. Um, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be a little bit of work. That's for sure. But we're getting it done. We're moving through it. Trying to do the a speedy restoration job here, but I can you can already tell. Let me just quickly grab this. I don't think I have any more. Nope. Let me just swap this real quick while we wait for these to rotate. So as you can tell, let me just look at the car overview. We've already gone up to twenty four thousand dollars on the car value, and it doesn't even have a motor in it yet, and it doesn't even have a modified motor in it. So we can get a good chunk of change for this car if we really really wanted to sell it which i don't know we'll see we'll see if we're gonna sell it after this or if we're gonna keep it but this thing is looking pretty cool and i really got to make sure that when i paint it i paint it the same exact color because this i really like this color such a nice color all right let's grab this last wheel real quick slap her on and put her on the ground and get a good look at her uh, we'll probably button up the interior real quick, too, just so we can get that done before we do body paneling. But I'm going to get it off the lift here. Now let's go ahead and move it to slot A of the entrance. Okay. There it is. Suspension's in. New wheels, tires. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Well, let's start working on the interior. I don't know if this car specifically requires, so it does have a fastback seat. Uh, how does that wheel look in there? Mm. Mm. Hold on, let's take a look. Mm. I don't know about that. We are going to have to buy some interior pieces here, which is fine. It's not that big of a deal, but let's go ahead and try to uh, see if we can get the fastback bench here in black. Of course. And then front seats. What what kind of front seats are we going to want to put in this car? Are we going to want to do like the low bucket style? Like something like this? Or, you know, what do we want to do? It's really up to us. We can kind of just do anything. We can do the little tiny typhoon seats like that. Those are pretty small though. I think I'm going to do the bucket. I think I'm going to do two of these. Two of these. Yeah, let's do two of these. Let's find ourselves a good steering wheel, too. I believe this is the one that came in the car, which I actually really like. The wood grain steering wheel, like the dark wood. I don't like the light wood. It's a nice wheel, but this one's better. But we're going to do that. All right. Pull this wheel off real quick. Assemble mode. New bench. Seats. And steering wheel. There we go. Oh, yeah. No, I like those seats. Those seats fit nice. That steering wheel fits nice. Let's sit down in it, actually. Oh. Yes. 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 No, I'm liking this. I'm liking this so far. All right. So, we are going to need to start putting body panels on this car. So, let's look up the fast back, not the fat back. And we're just going to immediately buy all the glass. All the glass pieces. Every single piece of glass that this car has we need. So might as well just buy it. So we can start throwing them in. Throw the front glass in. Throw the back glass in. And uh, we're going to need headlights because we don't have any. Uh, I don't believe I can restore the tail lights because they are glass. We're going to need headlights, tail lights. I don't have a uh, rear bumper. I do I had the trunk. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice. So, I had the trunk. I believe I had... No, I had the driver door. Which I don't... Nope, couldn't couldn't save. And I had a front bumper. I did restore it. Nice. We'll get new plates for the car, too. So, that's not an issue. So, we're pretty much going to need almost everything. Let's go ahead and just get the lights first, since we know we need that. We know we need the rear bumper. We're going to need the driver door, the front panel, passenger door, the quarter panel, the hood. I'm not sure about the mirrors yet. 
which is pretty much the only thing that we are not replacing. So, or that we, yeah, I don't know if we even have them. Yeah, we don't have that one. Go ahead and check real quick to see if we have this one. Put all the glass in. And nope. Okay. We're going to need both mirrors. Wow. This thing was really, really beat up. Really beat up. Which is fine. We're getting it done. We're taking care of it. Go ahead and just finish the rear here. The rear looks really good. There's no mixed match colors. All the pieces look good. We're going to buy some new freaking license plates because those are really junky looking. All right. So, go ahead and finish putting all these panels on the car. There we go. Close the hood. There she is. There she is. All in one piece again. Kind of multicolored, but all in one piece. So what we're actually going to do is let's go ahead and just move this thing over to the paint shop. Let's paint her up. Now that we got all the body panels, we're not going to need to get anything else on it. So we're definitely ready to paint. Alright. Let's go ahead and paint. Let's do this. Set color. Yes. Yes. Give me that original. Give me that original green. That color is so amazing. Put her back on the lift. Now that we're done with exterior and interior. And paint. Ah, oh, look at this car. God, it looks so nice. Beautiful. Beautiful. Awesome. We're getting there. We are getting there. Let's check on the value real quick. 38000 And I think I've spent about $10,000. So, not bad. Not bad at all. Okay. So, next step. Do something with this. Which there's not really, there's not really much we're going to do with this besides throw out most of these parts here. Because I can restore some of them, but with what I'm trying to do, doing performance parts, like all this stuff is just going to have to go. I, I believe I'm, I can restore the block. Yep, I can restore the block, which is fine. I think, did I just break the block? Or am I going to, or was that good? Oh, yeah. No, I broke the block. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, that really sucks because that means we're going to have to buy a new block. <laughs> oh, God. And these ones aren't cheap. 3500 bucks. So I got to see, is it a V8? No, it's a V8 overhead. All right. 20, 2200 Still pricey, but not, not as bad. Oh, man. That sucked. I was really hoping I could get away without breaking that. So, crankshaft. So, here's where the little bit of a mini game kind of comes into play because it's hard to tell if you have that piece or you don't in the shop and you don't have crankshafts here. So, we're going to have to go a non performance crankshaft, which we need the crankshaft V8 overhead. There we go. And then let's do this real quick. We gotta rotate this thing over because we're gonna need to put all the crankshaft bearing caps in that we don't have. So we're gonna have to buy them. Awesome. Very cool. <laughs> yeah, this engine, I'm I'm already assuming I'm gonna have to buy every single piece for this engine, because this thing was literally gutted. There was a the cr the the crankshaft, and that's it. All right, I believe in terms of transmission, I do believe there are, so there's the clutch plate, the clutch pl pressure plate, and the flywheel. And then here, we're gonna need the clutch release bearing. Everything else is a performance part, which is nice. Go ahead and make sure we find it. You could tell how many jobs I've done before because all those clutch plates are from uh, from previous jobs that I did where I restored them and I didn't use them because I did an upgraded piece so 
Now is where we get real fun, though, because we're putting pistons in. And we got to make sure we'd buy the right pistons. Just a standard piston. Okay, cool. We're going to need eight of those. 1600 This is where the money starts dropping in real quick. We're going to need piston rings. Eight of them. There we go. Okay. Get these pistons installed. Make sure we are actually installing the performance pistons and not non-performance pistons. Or a mixture, because that would just be really bad. That just wouldn't make much sense to do. But after we do the engine, w literally it's finishing the exhaust, putting the transmission in, drive shaft, and it's done. And that's it. Like, really not that bad. We have no rod caps. We're going to have to buy all eight rod caps. Eight of them. Give me. Give me, give me, give me. Yeah, we also don't have a pan, so we're going to have to buy, buy the oil pan. I don't think we have a camshaft. We, we have nothing, actually. So every single piece we're going to need to buy. But I'm going to finish l buttoning up the... Uh, bottom side of the engine here so that way I can flip her back over right side and then uh, we can work on it like that we'll just get every piece we need here okay so oil pan v8 and oil filter we'll get those real quick so oil filter you and oil pan you There we go. Let's put this on. Then we'll flip the engine upright. Finish working on it then. There we go. She's upright again. She's got pistons and a crankshaft in, so it's getting there. It is getting there. Let's do a camshaft real quick. We do have two camshafts already, but let me go ahead and just double check the fact. Just to make sure is a performance camshaft so we're definitely definitely going to put a performance camshaft in this because why wouldn't we why would wouldn't we and then this is where all the fun stuff comes in so alternator okay all this stuff i do know is already in here so we have a fuel filter we have uh ignition distributor the rotor, the cap. Uh, we're also going to need the power steering pump V8. Uh, alternator. And we're probably going to do heads too, if they have them. Uh, spark plugs, we're going to need eight of those. Anything else that I can see right off the bat that just screams that I need it? now or no nothing else nothing really else performance one that's one thing that i kind of wish with this game like it puts all the default ones and it puts the performance one at the end it's like default me to the better one <laughs> just immediately like don't give me the non good one oh oil b that is here here you go boom perfect really interested in seeing what kind of power this thing makes too after all this Fuel filter, ignition coil B, ignition distributor, Ig the ro oh, no, 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 you get out of there, I don't want you, I want you, there you go, and the cap, give me the good one, oh, I had one already, clip B, I don't have those, I hate these clips, I really hate these little tiny clips, <laughs> because then you realize you don't have them and you need them, and the, it, if you forget this little tiny clip, you won't be able to do anything in this game with the car because it will just tell you you're missing a part. So, cam gear V8 is what we're going to need. There is not one in the performance shop, so I'm not going to go ahead and, and check. And then we're going to need a timing chain. Yep, knew it. Knew it. I wonder if I could just do this. There we go. Timing chain, where are you at? There you are. 
We're also going to need a timing cover. Go ahead and get that, since I know we're going to need it. There you go. See, I've done this quite often. You get to the point where you kind of just already know what you're missing and what you're going to need. So before I start building the heads, I'm going to just finish up the front. So we're going to need a water pump and a crankshaft pulley, um, which is fine. So we'll do a crankshaft pulley, and then I'm going to see. I don't know if they do, but they might have a water pump. No, they do not. Okay, that's fine. We'll just go to this, and we will find ourselves a water pump. And we'll do that. All right. Let's slap these on. We're also going to need the water pump pulley, which I kind of forgot about. And then we're going to need, what, serpentine belt B, V8, and then serpentine belt A. So let's go ahead and buy those belts real quick because they're going to be right here. So serpentine belt A and B. And we're going to need a water pump pulley. We're going to need the fan. Fan. Uh, probably this fan is what we're going to end up needing. Go ahead and slap these on real quick. And, yep, radiator fan. Perfect. I hate buying the wrong part. That does happen quite often when you're trying to, like, skip ahead and buy parts that you think you're going to need. Okay, so... Engine heads, I know they do have performance versions of the engine heads. Uh, here we go. We are buying two of them for $1,400. Pretty expensive, but definitely worth it. Because look how freaking cool these look. God, that looks amazing. This motor inside this car is going to look really good. Oop, missed one. I was like, what's going on? Go ahead and get this side in too. Camera angle is kind of weird, but whatever. We'll just get it done. And then one of the... Oh, well, since we're here, let's just go ahead and throw in our high-performance spark plugs since we already had them. We're going to need to buy the uh, exhaust manifolds as well from the performance shop. Uh, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to do one of the more boring and tedious parts of uh, Car Mechanic Sim, which is putting in all the valve push rods which is super fun super fun we're gonna need 16 of them and then we're also going to need the uh oh nope not we need the rocker arm 16 of the rocker arms Ugh. yeah this is not one of the funner things about this all these little i mean i get why you know it does make sense and it's like yeah sure like you know put it in the game and it does make sense but man it's just a pain when you're flying and you're wanting to like finish it up and get the engine in the car this is like one of the last things that you really need before you can do that because you're just about to finish putting the engine together and uh you gotta do 16 valve push rods and rocker arms on each side so you're just doing this you're just bolting things down for a good amount of time uh, we're also going to need ignition wires and also the engine head cover which we can go ahead and get now so engine head cover a and engine head cover b and we'll head back over to the performance shop because we're going to need wires the v8 okay so let's go ahead and put the engine head cover on this one since we're done with this side we'll wait to put the wires on until the other side is done we also got to get the carb on and everything <sighs> yep here we go again valve push rod time i'm just gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna cut until this is done because this is very tedious Okay, so we got the engine head cover B on, all the valve push rods in. Let's do the wires, and then we're going to need to buy the exhaust manifolds. And get those on, but we're the end is near. 
We are getting close. Exhaust manifold V8. Both of these. We are getting very, very close to completing building the engine. And this thing looks amazing. This engine looks so good. God. Last will be the carb. Put that on last. God, it looks so good. This engine, ugh, God. I would love to have a carbureted, like, restored, nice-looking engine. Intake manifold, I believe they do have this in the performance shop. Yep, intake manifold. They also have the carburetors, which we're going to need uh, the carburetor. I don't know which this is going to put on there, to be honest. Let's go ahead and just put this on real quick and see what we're going to need. I wonder if it's a four-barrel. Yep. We're going to need two four-barrels. And then we're going to end up also needing uh, the filters and everything as well. Look at those cars. Those look so good. Ah, oh, those look so good. God, that's amazing. Round air filter. Round air filter. We'll go ahead and go back to the normal shop. So we can buy the base and cover. And cover. There we go. The final touch is right here. Once we do this, we are done. We are done right now. There she is. Look at this engine. It looks so good. God, that looks amazing. Oh, it's going to look amazing in this car. That is a, oh, so good. So good. All right, let's go ahead and move the equipment back over. Get ready to uh, put her in. Let's... Uh, Remove grain. Let's install into the car. Let's remove this piece of equipment. There she is. In the car. God, it looks so good. Alright, let's go ahead and put oil in it before we forget to do anything else. Let's just get this done because there's been many times where I've completely gone through a whole car and I forget to put the uh, oil in it. And I try to take it out and it says, eh, you don't have any oil in it. All right, one thing I also forgot to do was to come over here and uh, charge the battery that we had in the car. And I wonder if I restored the radiator or not. We're probably going to need a brake servo. Radiator C, sweet. Brake servo? Nope, we don't need to buy one. Awesome. Okay, well, let's go ahead and get the battery. Once the battery's in, then we can close the hood for the final time. Lift it on up. And, uh... Put the transmission in, and that's it. Transmission drive shaft done. Battery. Engine bay is completely done. Close. We might... I don't know if I was able to restore the transmission or not, so we might have to buy a transmission. Oh, and the exhaust system, too. Forgot about that. Oh, and we're missing a starter. Yes, I don't have to buy a transmission. Thank God. Okay. So we're going to need a starter V8. Starter V8. And slap this in. This is amazing. Oop. Drive shaft. Do we need one? We need one. Damn. Uh, it sucks getting this close and then needing things. What happened to my typing? Just went downhill. I don't know. That drive shaft are expensive. 500 something bucks. All right. So. We are all done there. Let's go ahead and see. Front exhaust pipe. Let's go to the performance shop here. Look at exhaust. So, front exhaust pipe. I don't know if they actually have what I need. Because we need a front exhaust pipe. Yeah, they don't have that piece. And then we also need mid muffler. Uh, oop, mid muffler and rear muffler. No cats. That's nice. All right, so let's go ahead and get rear muffler two of these. Mid muffler two of these. And then, yeah, they don't have the one I need because I don't need just the V. I need the C. I need the C variant, and they don't have the C variant in here. So that sucks. That's all right. Won't be performance, but hey, it'll work. It'll finish it. All right, let's go ahead and just... Oh, God, the camera sometimes the only thing about this game camera can be very awkward at times 
All right, slap on the last bit. Last bit's here. Done. We are done. Absolutely done. There it is. Let's go ahead and uh, move her on over back to the entrance and take a look at her. Yeah, look at that engine. It looks so good. So good, shiny red bits in there. Yeah, this looks. This car is phenomenal. That looks so good. That is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And if we go to the part overview, you can see every single piece is green, new, shiny, restored. Ah, feels so good. Feels so good. So, let's do a little bit of quick math here. If we can, I am going to cheat. I'm going to break out a calculator. Uh, so, we currently now have 384000 and $106. So that means we spent so we spent $25,879 on parts out of our own pocket. So $25,000 to restore this car and put performance parts in it. So a little bit of money but not anything too crazy. And the original uh cost of the car was or the original value was seven thousand nine hundred and sixty eight dollars and then it is now worth eighty two thousand five hundred and ninety four dollars uh so let's do the math on that real quick so this car went up in value by <laughs> it's now seventy four thousand six hundred and twenty six dollars more valuable than it was and then if we subtract the, I'm just going to do a general 25000 we pretty much were at about, we, we, we pretty much earned $50,000 by doing this job of restoring this car. So, pretty good amount of money. And, in my opinion, a pretty enjoyable time. So, I love doing this. This is what I've been doing in this game for a good amount of time. I was a little on the fence about actually recording it. I don't know if many people have the same interest as much as I do in stuff like this. I know there are people out there. I don't know how many people would actually watch and enjoy this stuff. But if you did, definitely let me know. If you want to see more, if you want to see me tackle the Crown Vic next, leave me a comment below and let me know. I can also go back to the junkyard. I got some more cars in the parking lot that I can restore. So I'm definitely down to do this again. If you enjoyed, hit the like button. It's the easiest way to let me know you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.